Introduction to Risk We all know risk is one of those words which are capable of a number of interpretations and seems to fit into various contexts. Risk is nothing but the uncertainty of loss. Almost everything that the businessman does, it is an uncertain environment. In this lesson, we will discuss the meaning of risk, nature of risk, different types of risk and the effect of risk. After going through this presentation, you should be able to define risk, discuss the nature of risk, describe different types of risk, explain management of risk and discuss the effects of risk. Risk is the probability or threat of damage, injury, liability, loss or other negative occurrence caused by external or internal vulnerabilities and which may be neutralized through pre-mediated action. Risk is a condition where there is a possibility of an adverse deviation from a desired outcome that is expected or hoped for. There is no requirement that the possibility be immeasurable, only that it must exist. When an event is stated to be possible, it has a probability between 0 and 1. It is neither impossible nor definite. The degree of risk may or may not be measurable. Since our purpose is to relate risk to insurance, focus will be on a risk, which entails the possibility of financial loss. Financial loss may be defined as a decline in or disappearance of value due to contingency. Almost everything that the businessman does, it is in an uncertain environment. If he invests in new machinery, will the output be what is expected? Will the employees be comfortable in working with it? If he launches a new product, will it sell as per his expectations? Will a new bonus or incentive scheme for employees avoid a threatened strike? If he builds a new factory, will it burn down? Will thieves or dishonest employees steal his stock from the warehouse? The fact that uncertainty of loss abounds most of the activities has resulted in a great deal of effort being devoted to the measurement of risk. In measuring risk, we are really trying to place some value on our belief as to the likelihood that some event will or will not take place. Probability theory is assuming an increasingly important role in insurance, but one major problem is that probabilities have normally to be based on some past experience. In order for assessment of risk to be consistent and meaningful, attention must be paid to the way in which probability and impact are assessed. It is relatively simple to assess the impact of a risk since this merely requires defining the situation after the risk has occurred and then estimating the possible effect on each objective. The first problem in assessing the probability of project risk is the term itself. It is widely recognized that project closure is the least well implemented of the project processes and that Many organizations do not have effective ways of learning lessons from completed projects in order to benefit future projects. Sometimes risks are identified for which some details are inherently unknowable. A further problem with assessing risk probability is that risks are possible future events that have not yet occurred and as such their probability of occurrence cannot be measured but can only be estimated. Next is psychological aspect of risk. We talk of risk, we must be clear in our minds that it incorporates both the frequency with which an event may take place and the severity of the incident that will occur. The operation of a chemical plant is very risky, not because such plants have frequent losses, but when a loss occurs it involves huge sums of money. People talk of the chance of something happening or some event coming about, but can one substitute chance for uncertainty? People say there is a chance of India winning the World Cup. They will not say there is a risk of India's winning or losing the Cup. 
A fundamental risk is one that is impersonal both in its origin and consequence. One individual does not normally cause the losses that flow from fundamental risk and their effect generally falls on masses. Fundamental risk that arise out of the nature of the society we live in are largely uninsurable and those that arise due to some physical occurrence depend for their insurability on the circumstances. In personal risk, there are four basic types of risk which a person faces. There is a vast market for insuring such risk like premature death, dying too early, dependent old age, dying too late, sickness or disability and unemployment. Next is property risk, direct and consequential losses arising from usage of various kinds of property which may take different forms such as loss or damage to property, loss of use of property and additional expenses occasioned by the loss of property. Liability risk arise out of human mistakes, often termed as civil wrongs committed by a person, resulting in injury and or death to another person, and or loss of or damage to property. Risk arising due to failure on part of another person to meet a specified obligation. X for example, guarantee bonds and sureties. Risk arising due to dishonesty of employees and others in course of performance of their duties causing loss of money and stocks to the owner. Use of transport vehicles opens scope for two types of risk. Own damage or loss to the vehicle due to a variety of pure risk in including negligence. The second risk is death or injury to third parties and loss or damage to their property. Management of risk is concerned with direction of purposeful activities towards the achievement of individual or organizational goal. Risk management may be defined as the identification, analysis and economic control of those risks which can threaten the assets or earning capacity of an enterprise. Risk management is of vital importance in modern business or trade and human activities. It is essential for not only prevention of risk but also for reduction of risk. It leads to maximum social advantages. It plays a significant role in bringing about social, political and economic development in a country. Risk management is a management process. It helps in preserving the operating effectiveness of the organization. Risk management facilitates an organization in the avoidance of a great financial loss resulting into bankruptcy. Methods of risk management are First, prevention or avoidance of risk. Risk is avoided when the individual refuses to accept the risk even for an instant. This is accomplished by merely not engaging in the action that gives rise to risk. The avoidance of risk is one method of dealing with the risk, but it is a negative rather than a positive technique. Personal advancement of the individual and progress in the economy both require risk taking. Reduction of risk. Risk may be reduced in two ways. The first is through loss prevention and control. There is almost no source of loss where some efforts are not made to avert the loss. Safety programs and loss prevention measures such as medical care, fire departments. Shifting or transferring of risk. Risk may be transferred from one individual to another who is more willing to bear the risk. Accepting or resuming risk. Risk retention is perhaps the most common method of dealing with risk. As previously noted, the individual faces an almost unlimited array of risk. In most cases, nothing is done about them. When the individual does not take positive action to avoid, reduce or transfer the risk, the possibility of loss involved in that risk is retained leaving behind the dynamic and speculative risk which may bring gains to persons the other risk classified as pure, static, fundamental and particular. The effects of risk are that 
is it impact on a large section of the people or a geographical area it has capacity to produce loss and suffering to people they have financial consequences uncontrollable once they occur are predictable and no possibility of any gain the exposure of a person is transferred to a group which is facing such homogeneous risk risk need not be homogeneous but may be heterogeneous a homogeneous group can contain other groups in their own way which have to be separately underwritten because their risk exposure is different analysis of the risk based upon its characteristics is an important part of the risk management and insurance insurance companies are professional risk carriers and they do this by aggregating the risk now let us check if we have understood the various concepts discussed in this lesson clearly a pure risk holds out the prospect of a loss or no loss while a speculative risk holds out the prospect of a gain as well as loss or break even right or wrong right a fundamental risk is one that is impersonal both in its origin and consequence right or wrong right risk arising due to dishonesty of employees and others in course of performance of their duties causing loss of money and stocks to the owner are called pure risk right or wrong wrong before we end let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far risk is one of those words which are capable of a number of interpretations and seems to fit into various context risk is nothing but the uncertainty of loss almost everything that the businessman does it is in an uncertain environment the second thing that encompasses us in the study of risk is its quantification in measuring risk we are really trying to place some value on our belief as to the likelihood that some event will or will not take place risk may be defined in various ways and from various angles it may be pure fundamental speculative and personal business related fidelity risk and so on risk management is concerned with direction of purposeful activities towards the achievement of individual or organizational goals risk management may be defined as the identification analysis and economic control of those risk which can threaten the assets or earning capacity of an enterprise it being a management process helps in preserving the operating effectiveness of the organization risk management will help an organization to save itself from financial crisis leading to bankruptcy